Hey there guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Devil Cube and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to be in Illustrator and we're going to be learning to create a cool lines type uh, lines type logo in uh, Illustrator. I wouldn't say it's a logo but more of an object. So we're going to be using the scissor tool to creating this effect and the scissor tool is, uh, is actually one of my most favorite tools. It's a pretty cool tool. It's, it's really awesome actually, you know, to be honest, um, uh, you know, because a lot of people have been asking, you know, all around the internet how to use the scissor tool. So I'm going to teach you guys, as you can see on the screen, that's going to be a final product. Now, uh, before we start with the tutorial, uh, this inspiration comes from, uh, let me just put up the Dribble profile. So here I am on Dribble, and uh, this is done by Rahul and he's from India. Well, I too am an Indian, so it's pretty cool. Um, I just hope that you know he knows I'm doing this anyway so this is his dribble profile and he has a lot of cool designs over here and these are just epic and insane probably I'm gonna do a tutorial on a few of these as well in the future I mean these are so epic uh, I mean I really want to talk to this guy anyways uh, so um, what I'm gonna be recreating is this one today which it says bicycle grid so um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this you know with the colors and all stuff gradient there's a cool important technique that I, I want to teach you guys when it comes to gradient so we're gonna do that so let's jump on into illustrator and here I am in illustrator I just took a snapshot of that and I put that you know over here so I'm blank I'm on a blank document let's just create a new layer on top of everything and let's get started all right so um, what we're gonna start off is uh, we want to get the pen tool so let's grab the pen tool so we have the pen tool and I'm gonna go ahead and just set this color to white so you know I can just get it I'm gonna go ahead and just start drawing stuff so I'm gonna click over here then I'm gonna click over here and press escape to cut that off and press V to select that and you can go ahead and change the stroke size so I'm gonna go ahead and start increasing this till I get something big all right okay it's black I have no idea okay yeah we need to set the stroke to white and there we go let's zoom in a little bit more closer so we can actually have a better idea okay this is too strong so let's set this to five and let me just move this up all right it looks very pixelated right now but uh, that's okay we can just zoom a little bit back all right so this is i think a good path and then once we do this we're going to click here on the stroke and we're going to come over here and choose round cap and that's going to round off the edges as you can see over here perfectly so what i'm actually going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and i think uh, okay let, let me not do that for now so let me just go ahead and make a copy of this by just holding on alt on my keyboard and just dragging these out like so and then i'm going to go ahead and bring them over to this side and just move this over right like so looking really good let's make a copy of this again so we're basically going ahead and i'm going to outline this entire thing all right so let's zoom this out all right okay maybe not so close a little bit towards the inside push this out okay looking good uh now i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press p on my keyboard and i'm gonna go click here uh actually click here which is gonna yeah so that's gonna attach to that anchor point and i'm gonna come down and probably somewhere over here click over here okay now that's gonna create this path for me so i'm gonna click delete and i'm gonna delete delete uh, escape i'm sorry and with the selected i'm gonna come over here and turn off the stroke so we have only the stroke and here we have the sharp edge so we can go ahead and uh, set the corner to a round joint and that's going to round off the corner as you can see over here pretty cool pretty awesome pretty dope so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video right now i'm going to come back with you know finishing up you know this entire set and then we can use the scissor tool uh you know to teach you guys how i did it all right so now we have i just added the white line strokes on all the straight lines and I'm gonna do it for the circle so if you guys want to just learn how to do that come over to the rectangle tool and just hold down the arrow key and you can get the ellipse tool and I'm gonna come over here to the center hold down shift and uh, shift and alt and that's gonna create a circle right from the center and I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom this up pretty you know pretty big so it kind of covers my entire scene and I'm gonna go ahead and just you know select it and move it down till it kind of fits the right spot yeah that's pretty cool and I'm gonna hold down Alt and uh, create, oh, oops, you make, make a copy. So let me just make a copy and just shrink this down like so and move this over to the side. Pretty cool, not bad, looking good. So let's make a copy of these two again, select both of this, hold down Alt and just move them over by holding down the Shift key. So it you know moves them horizontally perfectly. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video again, I'm gonna finish up with these smaller parts and get back right back. Alright guys, so now as you can see, this is what I ended up with. It looks nothing similar to the one that we have. So let me just zoom out back right now and you can unhide this layer. Uh, let's just move this over to the side and we can actually get, oops, let's, we can actually get ourselves a nice reference. 
so we can do this thing along let me just move everything into the center right so there we go let me just lock this layer so we don't have to touch it all right there we go doesn't matter okay so now as you can see this part of the logo is kind of cool um, it's, it's proper this kind of logo is also fine but as you can see over here so this is where we have this cut over here right now i, I could have made a separate line but i just want to show you guys the scissor tool okay this is annoying me let me just lock this there we go all right so what i'm going to so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to come here to the scissor tool which is here which says scissor tool c and i'm going to go ahead and uh let's actually before we do that we're going to go get the pen tool and here make sure you know you press the plus button on the keyboard so that give, that's going to give you a plus sign under the pen tool and i'm going to come over here and just click twice to create two different anchor points right there we go we have two different anchor points now what you want to do is you're going to select this come here to the scissor tool and you want to click on this anchor point and you want to click once again on this anchor point so now what has happened is we have three different pieces so let me just select all that so we have three different pieces and if i select the middle one and just hit delete there we go boom there we go we have our split looking awesome so that's pretty much it guys so let me just go ahead and do it for the rest of it so you guys can actually see as to how it's done properly i'm gonna move this up a little bit okay uh so we're gonna come over here to this part um so we're gonna select here on this one so this already has four anchor points so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get this, the the scissor tool i'm gonna click here on this one click here and i'm gonna click on this anchor point so we now cut it so we can select this part hit delete select this part hit delete boom there we go how cool is that i'm gonna move this up a little bit all right so let's do the same thing over here but we kind of want to join these two so we can right click and choose join uh okay that's going to join that up pretty badly but that's okay so we can do the same thing over here scissor tool click on this one i think i think only that should do so if i now select this one and delete okay that's going to delete the entire thing so we, we need to delete more than two anchor points so i think that's the correct thing so we delete click on that and delete and delete and delete there we go i kind of move a little bit down okay we can we can, we can we can kind of fix that later right so we can fix that later doesn't matter all right uh coming more coming down over here uh so we have this cut over here so we're gonna make an anchor point over here so let's just create an anchor point over here and an anchor point oops sorry make sure that you know your your object is selected then with the pen tool you want to click once here and then click on the other part and then now you can select the move tool and you can select the part that we do not want okay we can press actually press a on our keyboard to get the direct selection we can select this part that we don't want hit delete okay we kind of did it wrong oh yeah we want to take the scissor tool forgot about the scissor tool there we go so select this one and select this one click on both of them delete and now we can select and hit delete there we go we got ourselves an amazing split we do the same thing over here press p to get the anchor point make sure you hit p the plus sign and i'm going to click once here whoops okay so you want to select a path before that so you select this press p uh you want to click once there which we already have and once we're here then press c to get a scissor tool click on this point click on this point and then we can select this path and delete awesome looking good all right so let me just finish this up pretty quick so let's press p on the keyboard we're gonna make a couple of points over here we need a lot of points on this one press p and uh we can we can let's see we're gonna select right over here uh okay that's good we have a point over here let's make another point over here and another point over here all right press c now we get the scissor tool uh we're gonna you know just select all the points that we have just keep cutting them off like so all right and now we can select this one hit delete there we go we got ourselves this split okay maybe that's too much in so okay there we go that's what we need and here okay we're gonna select this one and add an anchor point or here there you go and we can select c and click on that that's going to cut that off and select our move tool again and select this one hit delete and there we go woohoo this is looking good all right so kind of what we can we, can, we kind of want to fix this but we can fix that later uh let's actually fix this up right now so let's zoom in very closely inside this all right there we go and uh we can actually move this manually yeah it's not gonna make that much of a difference eh, it's fine no big bummer all right so we finish up this part um uh okay so we kind of have to this so it's basically the similar thing what i taught you guys on how to you know just how doing this i'm going to pause the video i'm going to come back finish up everything and then i'm going to go and do the gradient effect 
All right, guys, so here I am back now. This looks really good, right? Almost like a cool replica. Uh, you know, it looks amazing, guys. This looks amazing. I really like it. Let me just move this over to a little bit to the side, you know, to fine tune stuff. There we go. All right, now, finishing up. Now, it's time to add the gradients. Pretty cool. So we're going to select all of this, and we're going to select, right-click, and choose group. So it's all into a single piece. And what we're going to do is click, click, click on this, and then come click on this, which says the gradient tool, and that's going to throw in a gradient. <gasps> wow, we don't want that. So... What we're going to do is just want to click here, which is going to switch it over. So it's going to put it on only on this and we don't want any white fill. So there we go. Only on the white. Awesome. It's already looking really good. Okay. Now here we want to join these two. So all we want to do is right click and choose ungroup. And then we can select uh, these two parts, right click and choose join. And there we go. We have a single object. Now there are two anchor points. I, I just fix that later, but I don't know that's, that we can do that properly. Uh, we can do, we need to do the same thing in a lot of places as you can see over here. So I'm going to go and just pause the video and finish that up and I'm going to come back. All right guys, so now I actually want to show you guys something that you guys might face a problem, you know, when you're doing this. So as you can see over here, uh, this line that we have over here and all this part is a part of a, you know, a single object. Now if you see over here, we have separate paths. Now actually I've tried a lot to, you know, to combine, quite sure I'm not able to do that. So the best solution which I found was if we select uh, our entire path we have you can go to object and choose expand now before you do expand you want to make sure that you want to create a copy of this so you know to keep it as future reference so hold on alt and just drag and throw out a copy somewhere over there on the top and you can select all of this and right click and choose object expand now that's going to throw out the stroke and it's going to keep the fill and the stroke i'm going to remove the stroke for now and click on okay um all right okay it looks like we didn't it didn't happen so let's do that again go to object choose expand Click on OK. All right, there we go. So now everything is a single, it's a single object. It's not a stroke. And now what we can do, we can select all of this and actually click on Unite. So we can select all of this. Whoops, we don't want to select all the wrong ones. Whoopsie. There we go. We can select all this. Come here to the Pathfinder and click on this button which says Unite. And all this now becomes a single cool object. That's looking really good now. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for everything that we have. So select all this, uh, choose Unite and uh this is this is kind of okay already uh what we got we got, we got something on this side now everything looking good everything looking great everything is looking perfectly fine all right so now what we want to do is uh okay so let's select this and let's sample our colors now so i'm going to select everything that we have over here and i'm going to right click and choose group so let's group all that and now what i'm going to do is let's go ahead and double click on the gradient which gradient is already there so let's go into the gradient tab and uh, we're going to go ahead and just click on the gradient tool and we want to go ahead and just drag out something like this so you know it kind of comes like this I'm not quite sure why we can't see the gradient set this to white no gradient oh there we go we got our so we got our two stops over here so i'm going to set the angle to 90 so it comes from the top to bottom and we're going to go ahead and sample out our colors so um here's what we're going to do so i'm going to press i on my keyboard i'm going to sample out this color and uh, i'm going to note down the values of this so so I'm going to write down the piece of paper. All right, I'm going to sample out the brighter color now, which is this one. And I'm going to go and uh, let's see, let's copy down the color value of this one. So we're going to write that down. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all this that we have. I'm going to get rid of the stroke that we don't want. So okay, we're going to get rid of the stroke. We want only the gradient. And the gradient tool, let's double click on the gradient tool. We're going to get our gradients. And now let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to go to the blacks and uh, let's, let's so we're going to click on the stop and double click on this one. And I'm going to add in uh, 8, 1, uh, what is that? F, 4, D, 1, which I think is the right color. Yeah, there we go. And click on OK. And I'm going to come click on the white and double click on the stop. And I'm going to type in 6, 7, 9, 3, F, C. Click on OK. And that's going to give us this blue color. Set this to 90. Let's set this to 90. There we go. And I'm going to have something that looks like this. So let's see how it's looking. It's looking really good, actually. I'm, I, let me let's see the original one. Uh, okay, so the original one also looks pretty, pretty cool. We can maybe even add in a stroke. I'm not quite sure if that's going to work out. Uh, so, we, okay, we can actually want to select, right, ungroup. We want to merge these two paths. So we can go and choose a merge. There we go. That becomes a single path. Uh, and as you can see here, the, the bright, it's lighter on the top. And then, you know, it becomes darker at the bottom. All right, guys, so last thing what we can do is let me just zoom out completely back. Okay, oh, a lot of, what, what was all that? Let's delete that. Uh, let's delete all that, and we can delete this one as well. 
uh, we can just lock the layer and you can, we can just shove this away and uh, we can go ahead and select all of this that we have and we can just you know just scale this up so let's go ahead and just scale this up pretty big yeah looking good um we can select everything right click and choose group and you can go to uh effect uh stylize and add in a simple drop shadow uh we can let's click on preview so we can see okay that's that's too harsh so i'm going to set the x offset to zero and the y offset to zero as well let's preview again looking pretty good you can set the probably the blur offset to 10 uh, 10 is good and maybe down bring down the opacity of this to 20 percent uh real little subtle effect click on okay and you have something that looks like this looking really good and really nice all right so that's pretty much it on how to use this as a tool to create this cool lines type object in uh, illustrator um thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys really enjoyed it if you did feel free to mention that in the comment section down below subscribe for more content drop me a like if you'd want to do and i'll see you guys in my next video so till then take care and bye bye